Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the book of Philippians. And today we're just stopping at one verse. It's one of the most famous verses in the New Testament. So our text is Philippians 2, verse 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. There's a lot going on in this text, this, this simple text. It's very straightforward, and yet some people really lose their way. It's not a take it or leave it. It's a command. Our mind should be as the mind of Jesus. And people immediately say, well, no, no, nobody can be perfect. Nobody can be like Jesus. But what is this command? Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. You know, it's actually doable. Whatever it is that's intended here, it's doable because it's being commanded, not as an option, but as a as the way we're supposed to live and think. Let this mind, there's a mind, there's a spirit, there's an attitude, there's a way of living, there's a way of being, you know, that Jesus, what was Jesus? Did he ever sin? No. Did he, did he live victorious over all sin? Yes. Did he help others? Yes. Was he was his way of living just? Yes. How much of the time? 99%? No, 100% of the time. Yes. Can my way of living be just 100% of the time? Yes. Can I be victorious over sin 100% of the time? Yes. You can see how we apply this all the way through. Can we have the spirit of Jesus? Can we have the attitude? Can we think like him? Can we behave as he? And the answer is yes, yes, and yes. And so this is part of the promise of the gospel. This is why one reason why people want to become Christians, because to become the Christian is to become a transformed person, a person who's like Jesus in a world that needs, oh, so desperately, people who are like Jesus. So when it says, let this mind be in you, there's a certain amount of submission going on there. Let this mind. If we, if we don't stand in the way, God will gladly do it. But the, we interpose a very stubborn will most of the time, don't we? So that's something we want to go away so that we can be like Jesus. How does the hymn go? Be like Jesus, this my song, in the home and in the throng. Be like Jesus all day long. That's our desire. Let's pray about it. Father in heaven, we would like to be like Jesus. We want this, this mind, spirit, way of life, this worldview, this, the eyeballs of Jesus. We want to live our life through the eyeballs of Jesus. We want, Lord, to live a life that is Christ-like and that draws other hearts toward the kingdom. So help us, Lord, to be right. Help us to be examples, living examples of Jesus. It's going to be a lot of sub submitting ourselves. It's going to be a lot of coming to you and repenting for that to happen. But may, Lord, may it happen. May it happen for the kingdom. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. One of the most glorious promises in the Bible and commands. Let this mind be in you that's in Christ Jesus. God be with you today.